This flight lesson is about navigation. You will learn about waypoints, how to use them, how to fly to them, and how to change them. You will also learn about forward arming and refueling points, or FARPs. At the end of the lesson, you will be able to follow a mission route using your navigation system. A waypoint is a point in space for you to fly to. A mission route is a collection of waypoints that, when flown in order, will bring you to the mission areas. A default set of waypoints for each mission are decided before you fly by your company operations officer. You can choose to accept these waypoints or change them. For now, we will follow the ordered waypoints. Following waypoints is simple. First, take off and go to a hover at 400 feet above ground level. To start the engine, press the R key. Increase your torque until the aircraft begins climbing. Climbing torque for takeoff is 90%. To increase torque, use the plus key. Triple A detected, 12 o'clock. Okay, your waypoint information is always displayed on the bottom left of the eye hats. The first line tells you which waypoint you are going to fly towards. The second line tells you the distance to the waypoint, and the third line tells you how long it will take at your present airspeed. The other important piece of waypoint information is on the compass across your eye hats. There are two carrots on the bottom of the compass. The open carrot marks the heading you must fly to get to the next waypoint. Okay, let's get moving. Yaw your aircraft so that the open carrot is centered in your compass. Good. Now, pick up some speed to fly to waypoint one. Watch how your distance to waypoint and time to arrive indicators decrease. Stay at a cruising speed of 100 knots. Okay, we are getting close to the waypoint. Slow down and hover near the waypoint. Good. Before we go to waypoint two, let me tell you about the TSD. Navigation information is also displayed on the tactical situation display on your left MFD. Since the avionics are in the nav master mode, all relevant information needed for navigation is displayed on the IHADs and the MFDs. The TSD shows the waypoint route in relation to your aircraft. This helps you see where you are going relative to the tactical situation. The most important thing to look for in the TSD is whether or not your route takes you close to any known surface threats. The threat symbols surrounded by the threat range rings mark areas that enemy ground forces can engage you with missiles or guns. Okay, turn towards waypoint two. Good. Since you have flown through waypoint one, the avionics automatically selects the next waypoint. Notice the symbol and circle on your TSD display. The 23 next to the symbol means that the avionics has determined that there is a ZSU-23 anti-aircraft gun out there. 
The dashed circle around the gun is its lethal zone. Fly inside of it and you will be engaged. If the circle becomes solid, then the threat is tracking you. As you fly towards Waypoint 2, watch the threat try to engage you. Don't worry, this is training and it will not fire at you. Okay, let's go. Turn to the open carrot on the compass and proceed to Waypoint 2. Slow down and hover near the waypoint. Here at Waypoint 2, you will find a Forward Arming and Refueling Point, or FARP. When you land at a FARP, you can refuel and rearm your aircraft so that you can continue your mission. Each mission will have one or two FARPs available for you to use. Land at the FARP and refuel your aircraft. Okay. Take off and let's go to waypoint three, which is home. Good. Now land the aircraft.
Go into a hover above the landing spot, drop collective and land on the ground. Go into a hover above. Great job. Remember. If you ever want to change your waypoints during a mission, or look for the location of all known units, look at the briefing map by hitting the Alt-N key. You can make all changes from there, just like before a mission. This concludes the lesson on navigation. The next lesson will be about defensive countermeasures.